of course. Now we know how Mondays can be, and if you aren't as excited as we are, then I guess we need to outline the reasons why you should be excited <laughs> this Monday morning. All things in good time. You know, it's time to feel good about yourself. It's a beautiful Monday, and we remain the best opportunity to start your week the right way. Yes, indeed. And this is how we start. Spend a little more time trying to make something of yourself and a little less time trying to impress people. Mm. It will do you a lot of good. Trust me, I've tried that myself. The little things we do today are the great things that happen tomorrow. So keep stacking those bricks and you're going to end up with a mansion. Yes, now that we're done with the motivation, let's turn now to Mike. <laughs> 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 I'm tired of you, Marcelo. <laughs> Mazino, I am. I want to impress. It's uh -huh. okay. I want, I want to impress Mazino. I know your, your motivation this morning was though. I want to impress. Thank you very much. Must not be impressed, by the way. It, it's good to see that at least uh, the motivation is having a little bit of impact, <laughs> whichever mm -hmm. way is going on you, Mike, because it's, it's very <laughs> difficult to actually push you when it comes to motivation. How are you doing? How are you doing? How's your weekend, guys? Ah, don't ask me about the weekend, Mike. It was. Uh, I'll tell you guys about it. Incredible, incredible. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Anyhow, it's going to be an inspira inspirational driven uh, Monday this morning, this yeah. edition. And we hope that the end of the show, you get a great takeaway from um, everything that we have for you. My name is, of course, Mazino Pio. And I'm Titi Laya Oyinson. Please use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be a part of the best breakfast show on Nigerian TV. And also remember that you can also watch us live mm. from across the world, anywhere you might be on our mobile app that you can download from Google Play Store or on iOS. We also want you to follow us across all our social media platforms. Our handles are out there. Uh, Facebook, Instagram at TVC Connect. And uh, we have quite a lineup for you. Yes, indeed. Let's already tell you what we have for today. Now, our Cypher Saw Eyes, Nkem Ofanaboy is going to be joining us, a purpose-driven woman on a mission to help busy professionals and entrepreneurs to achieve work-life harmony. Now, she's a graduate of psychology with a special executive management program, MBA from Metropolitan, uh, Metropolitan School of Business and Management. We get to talk to her today um, about very interesting stuff. And then, of course, Mimi Yina is a fashion stylist, entrepreneur, CEO, Medlin Couture, and fashion consultant. She is passionately driven and goal actualizing oriented. Now, Medlin is a fashion conglomerate of everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. We will be finding out more on SME today. Yeah. I'd like to believe I'm not the only one who had a horrible weekend. Tell us about it. Oh, jails um, are greasy. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't wish it on weekend. an enemy. Uh, was it that bad? It was really bad. The rain really made everything Ooh. terrible. Mm. You make the right decisions. You set out the right time. You mm. foresee everything that could happen. And the one thing that you're not prepared for, yeah. that's the one thing that happens. What? It just, it, I had car trouble. And oh. I never have car trouble. You remember when I was telling yeah, Mary about you never have I car never trouble. have car you trouble. Never. They should I have always knocked have an on alternative. wood. <laughs> should have you knocked on really wood. The alternatives true. were just all... Was it, was it before you went out in the middle of a journey or something? In the middle of a journey. Oh, no, in that's, the middle. That's the worst time ever. So all dressed to the nine and everything. Had to step out in flood waters, undress. Oh. Find, a, find a space for the car to be parked. Oh. Go home to get the other car. No other car because the wife decides, I'm going out today. Uh. <laughs> had to now pack my clothes in a, uh, in a bag. Yeah. Jump on a bike to go to a corporate event. Oh. It was, it was really terrible. Had to come back, then sort the car out. Couldn't fix it. Had to go back home. Get the other car, just come move. back and then tow this. Oh, oh. poor <laughs> Mazino. Sorry, what's that today? It's been expunged from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? That's how bad oh it God. was. But you survived. But it, was, it was a good experience. You survived. In the end, you know, those kind of things actually give you that uh, moment where you're like, hmm, I saw myself through this. Mm, and I, I didn't, yeah. you know, so yeah, yeah it, it, in a way it was a good experience, yeah. but I, I wouldn't want to go through it again. You, again, didn't, you didn't beat anybody True. Right? No, 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 you no. You didn't no, beat no. anybody. I didn't. So I chose to <laughs> stay in bed all of Sunday. Okay. After waking up, after service and everything, went back to bed from 12 to 6 p.m. Just I was asleep. in bed. So, you wow. know, that, that thing happens that, you know, I'm going to tell me, I'm like, what happens if this car just stops in the middle of the bridge? Hey. Oh. It just goes through my mind. Let me tell you. You see that concrete, you see that asphalt? Yeah. Agberos will rise. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where they come from. They don't know. They just yeah. rise from the asphalt. Yeah. Ah, oh God, with the apple. Uh. <laughs> where did you come go, from? Don't lie if you are coming cashless. You will be drawn that moment. Honestly. <laughs> oh, crazy goodness. stuff. Crazy oh. weekend. Hopefully your weekend was not as bad as mine. I'm yeah. hoping that your Monday starts mm. great in any case. Watch out for the weather. Speaking of the weather, let's Take a look at it and see what it holds for us. Alrighty, welcome Monday morning. Let's do the news. My name is Mazino Appeal. 
Now, President Muhammad Buhari has described threats by the Niger Delta Avengers to attack oil installations in the South-South region as unnecessary. The militant group in a statement on Saturday had announced the launch of Operation Humble, a new mission to resume attacks in the oil-rich region, saying their needs and interests are being undermined by the Nigerian state. But in a statement released yesterday, President uh, Muhammad Buhari uh, issued uh, such um, a call for restructuring, reduction and prevention of oil spills and the inauguration of a board for the Niger Delta Development Commission uh, and that they have all been addressed. According to the president, and I quote here, the hydrocarbon pollution re um, remediation project has started work with uh, remediation efforts in Ogoniland, and I have directed the Minister of Environment to ensure that the projects are implemented with a high percentage of local content and inclusion of the surrounding communities. End of quote there. Now, President Muhammad Buhari added that all issues raised by the group had already been addressed during a meeting with the leadership of the Niger Delta and Ijo National Congress at the Presidential Villa on Thursday. And Vice President Yemi Osibajo says the federal government is set to tax profits made in Nigeria by global technology and digital firms not based in the country but with a significant economic presence. The spokesman, Alao Luakande, in a statement released yesterday, quoted the VP as saying this during an interaction with the delegation of the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria. The vice president said although the social media companies and technology firms are not established in Nigeria, they possess significant economic presence in the country and should contribute in shoring up the country's revenue. According to Professor Sibanjo, a quote here, we have had severe economic down, uh, downturns, which uh, of course implies that we may not be able to collect taxes with the aggressiveness that would ordinarily be expected. I think the most important thing is that we must widen our tax nets so that more people who are eligible to pay tax are paying. And the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Farouk Yahaya, has charged troops of Operation Haddan Kai to destroy all Boko Haram and Islamic State West Africa province terrorists. Ipswat. Now, enclaves, uh, the enclaves uh, in their various uh, locations was what he was referring to. The Army Chief made the statement while addressing troops of Sector 2 in Damaturu, the Yobe State Capital. The Army Chief is optimistic that with the continuous support and synergy of other security operatives, uh, traditional rulers and relevant stakeholders, the Boko Haram insurgency would be a thing of the past. Just part of my operations visit as Chief of Army Staff to interact with my troops and to address them on the challenges at hand and the way forward for us achieving even uh, more success and results. We want to conclude this operation in the Northeast so that we can do other things. And that is the drive now. We'll, inshallah, conclude it and now and go and do other things. So also we'll conclude all other challenges that are facing us. We are geared toward uh, addressing all of them. Now, outside Nigeria, more buddies have been pulled out of the rubble of the building collapse in Florida, bringing the death toll to nine. Now, this is as the search and rescue team continue to comb the debris of the collapsed 12 story building. Mayor of Miami, uh, Daddy uh, Daniela Levine, says four of the recovered buddies have been identified, but more than 150 people remain unaccounted for. Part of the building collapsed uh, early on Thursday morning while many residents slept. The cause of the collapse remains unclear, but an engineer's report from 2018 made public on Saturday highlighted a major error in the original design of the building, which prevented water draining away from the base. Yeah. All right, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, let's do what's up and about. Something crossed my path this morning, and I thought maybe we should talk about it. I don't know where I stand on the matter, and it has to do with the whole Babai Jesha. Did I get that right? Babai Jesha, whole saga and everything, sexual assault and molestation. So TAMPAM, which is the Theater Arts and Movie uh, Practitioners Practitioner. Association of Nigeria, they have come out and said that they are suspending two actresses, Yabo Ojo and Nkechi Blessing, whom um, they've been advocating for um, this whole situation where Babai Jesha has been uh, uh, charged with uh, sexual assault. Um, now, these individuals, one of them pushing very, very hard, the other one actually advocating on social media, yeah. talking, well, they say, in quote, mm. bad about the association. 
the association led by Jidi Kosoko, by the way, mm. have now come out openly and publicly to say that they are suspending the actresses. Okay. And I'm wondering, mm. if I'm advocating something on my social media, mm. am I not going to be, can't I be awarded freedom of speech? Okay. You know, why can't I talk about it and why do you have to suspend me? Mm. The association is saying mm. that you are actually talking about a situation that's in court, which we cannot say anything about because it, it involves us. So mm. it's not a balanced situation. The public jury is obviously going to sway yeah. to your direction. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm thinking, mm. there's two ways to look at it and it's very unfortunate. Um. I think it's, it's a baby and bathwater kind of situation, you know. Um, I think I think they should have, you know, been cautioned, maybe called for a meeting, maybe you know a little more conversation, which might have happened. We, yeah, we're it not did sure. Happen, apparently. We're not. It did happen. Yeah, they said um, that they had warned them. Yeah. Mm. And she took that warning and then slapped it in their faces that whatever, man, it's mm. my social media. I can mm. say whatever I want to. Uh, yeah, that makes sense now. Mm. Makes sense because uh, if it's about Yabojo, you know mm. how she has uh, some sort of a personal bias towards that particular mm -hmm. case and. Yeah, right it's in court yeah. and no matter what evidence that is available until yeah. the laws of the land uh, have proven or have declared someone guilty yeah. the person is still not guilty yet yeah. at least he has been released on bill now we're not saying in case mm. blessing on the other hand is not really that directly involved so can okay. she say whatever she needs to say mm. okay. and why does she have to punish are, are, are both cases uh, are, they, are they both parties mm. both parties, both parties yeah. are they is, is it the same uh, is it the referring? same case? Yeah, they're referring to the same case. To the same they both case. have the same opinion. <laughs> One okay, is so now, involved, the other is... If the rules, if you are in an organization, it happened, this, this was about the same thing that with Naomi Osaka. She said, I don't want to do press conferences because yeah. of the burden on my mental health. Mm -hmm. And then they said, look, if you don't do it, we'll find you. Yeah. She said, hey, I'm not interested yeah. again. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. So if so they if have given you a member, prior warning, mm -hmm. and said, look, okay, so because I'm... You can understand, they said something about the case still being in court. So please, you're a part of this organization. This person is a part of this organization. Yeah. So maybe just chill it down. And you say no, then hey, um, it's, it's, mm. I, I, you take the suspicion. Here's an addition to that. She claims that she's never been in the association. Oh, oh. So you so cannot so sanction me in oh, any way. I was actually going to ah, ask about yeah. that. So it's not I a big deal about... now. Yeah, it's easy now. Who, who claims now? <laughs> That's or in case you bless you. She okay. says she's never been, I've never been a part of what uh, association okay. are you talking about? So why okay. are you going to be suspending yeah. me? Suspension, okay. whatever, what suspension? You're in whose army? I don't care. Mm. Okay, good. Now, the unfortunate thing here is that the Yoruba music, uh, sorry, music, mu Yoruba mm. movies industry, yeah. it's kind of like a streamline one. Where yeah. are you going to find work once they suspend you? Um, well, you'd be surprised. And you do, uh, you do, you do independent, you do independent production. In, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, because they could decide to produce their own. Their own and which and a lot of them do, yes, by the way. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, you know, these associations. I don't know how far their influence goes when it comes yes. to um, deciding who or who exactly. not to act. Mm -hmm. Remember the, the, the mm -hmm. band that happened with the Big Seven. Mm -hmm. Then I don't know if it was Big Five, Big Seven, mm -hmm. or Big Nine. Mm -hmm. The What's RMDs, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Ramsey Noahs, mm -hmm. the Genevieve, mm -hmm. your Motola. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. it was what happened was that the producers and the marketers, it was mm -hmm. the marketers that made it so. They yeah. said, Look, we are not going to market any movie with these guys. Yeah. So they, that, that now yeah. made it so even independent production was a problem because the marketer was not an association. But now distribution companies have changed. Now they're online so, streaming platforms. That's the point. Exactly. Now they're cinemas. So that's now the point. it's not just about so, the open market, uh, Iweka Road and all that. For nah. sure. <laughs> if those, if those, so we're saying that the power is mm. not with the association. What? Yeah. How far mm. does their power reach mm -hmm. legally? We don't know. But the distributors uh -huh. have yeah. enough power to uh, to In to line enact the ban. And then there's that. a good way to look at this because this could. This, this could start an offset. This should start something, you yeah. know, where I don't have to be in the association. I can make my own movie. So it's a good sure. thing. Hey, independent production for your own movies, I think it's about time. Yeah. And you have sure. all the platforms that you can use to your sure. advantage. So why not? Honestly, I think things are definitely changing with the advent of technology and things are moving definitely. fast, definitely. a lot faster than some associations have been moving. There's some things they probably needed to do a long time ago that they haven't done. So, and this is going to show whether that, it's impacting yeah. them or not. Let's see yeah. how that goes. If you have any opinion, do hashtag mm. us on social media. Mm. Hashtag uh, Wake Up Niger on TVC. We'd like to know what you think. We'll be back with more. It's still the first hour. You're going to love this. <laughs> oh, wow. You are welcome for a Monday edition here inside of the kitchen with me is Chef Eni. Hi. Hello. Great to have you back. Always exciting when you're <laughs> on with us and we love it. So I've got eggs with me. I really don't know what it is we're going to be cooking today, but I'm sure that it's going to be fantastic. Yes, so absolutely. what's happening? Okay, so we're making um, pancakes. We make fluffy pancakes with um, scrambled eggs. Okay. And um, you know the way I work, I use veggies a lot. No, I don't know how you work. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. Anyway, I love veggies a lot, and we're going to be adding all of those things okay. into the eggs. Yeah. Okay. 
So that means we're scrambling these eggs or? Yes, 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 we're scrambling, scrambling the eggs, eggs yes. pancakes and And, and then here stuff. I have, I'm going to be making two-way pancakes okay. with nutmeg and without nutmeg. When you say two-way? Yeah. Uh, One has the spice and the other doesn't have the spice. Why would I want to have two seasoned differently type of... You know, sometimes people just want um, different things on their plate. Do you understand? Okay. So I want to eat something spicy and not so spicy at the same time. I want something different from what I'm used to. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's why I have the nutmeg here, and the reason I also have this um, dry pepper in the pancakes. Dry pepper. Yeah. That's nutmeg there. Yeah. Baking powder, sugar, curry, and time for the eggs. Okay. Yeah. And then we have milk here. We have cooking oil, and of course we have our nut cubes. Yes, we do have <laughs> nut cubes. Let's not forget that it is always very, very delicious when you add some of this to your cooking every single time. Absolutely. So make sure that you have that with you when you're going to well be mm -hmm. inventing this very special dish. Yeah. So, how do we get started? Okay, so um, we start by getting a bigger bowl. Okay. We add the dry ingredients. We mix okay. them together. All right. Once we're done with that, we mix the wet ingredients together, and then we form a butter. Okay, the problem with Nigeria is, for instance, myself, I don't ever have any time to make breakfast. I'm out of the house like 4 a.m., 4.30. <laughs> so would I be able to put any of this together in, say, 15 minutes out of the house? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes. And another good thing about this butter is that um, you can keep it in your fridge. Okay. You know, you can make in large quantity and then every morning you need to go to work or maybe every two days you can always take it out of the fridge right. and, you know, do your stuff. All right, yeah. so we're going to be beginning in just about a bit, and hopefully we're going to also be showing you what the ingredients are. If you haven't taken note already from what the visuals that we've shown you from before, we're going to have that written on your screens very soon. But all you need to know is that we've got a bit of pepper, and also that's a... What kind of pepper exactly? Um, scotch bonnet and um, tomatoes. Scotch what? Atarudo. Atarudo. <laughs> that's the one they know. Atarudo, some tomatoes mm. in there. We've got some green. Yeah, and then red onions. Red onions in yeah. there, our flour, salt, uh, uh, nutmeg, sugar, and everything needed. Some milk and then some baking powder. Yeah. No, is that baking powder? Yeah, baking powder, sugar. Baking yeah, powder, yeah. sugar. And some nor. Cubes. Nor cubes, people. Nor cubes. Okie dokie now. Right. So let's get started already. All right. I'm going to help you move all of this while we're getting ready to see what's happening uh, with the ladies on there. I'm going to be taking uh, uh, charge of the eggs because I'm still trying to, you know, uh, perfect my <laughs> egg breaking skills. Oh, really? Yes, my egg breaking skills are not okay. very nice, not gross. very good. So it's, it's all good. Yeah. All right, so let me help you with the. Thank you. I I'll help you with them, don't worry. No heavy lifting. <laughs> what are we using? We're using. Yeah, we're using that. We're using this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. I'm going to help you stop this already. Yeah. No, when it's time, but it's on. And then that we're using already. that as well for we're the using eggs. This yeah. as well. For the eggs. We're using this for the pancakes and then we use that for the eggs. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now remember, if you are. Um, if you have very little time on your hand, this will be the perfect breakfast for you, especially if you're in my kind of, my line of job. Uh, so let's find out exactly what we're going to be talking about for motivation. Titi is ready with Nkema Fonabo. Titi, uh, what are we going to be talking about? I hear procrastination is on our list this morning, and it's something that a few people here need some talking to about. <laughs> Yes, myself oh, included, for. I feel like I procrastinated on quite a few different things myself. That's why I'm happy that Nkem Ofonabo is here. Now, she's a purpose-driven woman on a mission to help busy professionals and entrepreneurs achieve work-life harmony. She's a graduate of psychology with a special executive management program MBA from Metropolitan School of Business and Management in the UK. Nkem is a trained life coach and neurolinguistic programming professional, and she joins us on Motivation this morning to talk about practical steps for overcoming procrastination. Omo, oh, <laughs> this one, I need it. <laughs> Ew. Needs it. It's like you're talking to me already, and you've not started talking. Um, but let's go one by one. First of all, let's break down what procrastination is as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you very much, Titi. It's an, it's an interesting topic, mm. and it's something I know that almost everyone struggles with. Mm -hmm. And procrastination, it's, it's a habitual and intentional delay. Intentional? Intentional. I'm not doing it on purpose. Most of the time, it's intentional. Okay, all right. Intentional delay to not starting mm. or finishing a tax. Okay. Irrespective of the negative consequences. Mm. Exactly. Okay. And most of the time, when you don't put in that deliberate 
decision, time, effort, yeah. everything into completing or starting or completing a task. It yeah. leads to depression, self-guilt, okay. and most of the time, low self-esteem. Okay. Okay. So that's probably that's actually what procrastination is about. So okay, you need to give me some advice here. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm I'm desperate for this advice right now. Give me the first step to avoiding uh, or overcoming this procrastination. I would say the first thing is you being self-aware, recognizing that it's a struggle, okay, and then seeking for help. Okay. So now we've agreed that there's a struggle. Yes. So what then should we do? Mm. So the first and most important thing I always tell people is ensure that whatever tax, whatever goals that you are setting mm -hmm. connects deeply to who you are. Okay. There is a pathway to the vision of the person you are trying to become. And you should also be able to answer that question, why? Why mm -hmm. do you want to do this? Okay. Because your reason for doing that must be very strong mm. to keep you to sustain your energy and motivation. Okay. So that is first. Secondly, we are all goal-seeking individuals, and it's very important that we master the act of setting goals okay. and um, mm. delivering well-informed outcomes. Because if your outcomes are not well-informed, or mm. uh, not well-defined, rather, you you might not know exactly what it is you want to achieve. Mm. So it, that outcome has to be well-defined. So that's okay. the second one. Okay. The third one is you being able to identify your priorities. Mm. Because there are a lot of things clamoring for our attention. Sure. And if you end up doing everything, you might not that your productivity level might not be that, um, the quality might not be that much. It often feels like there are not enough hours in the day. You know, um, it often feels like it's not really my fault now. I was, I was, this is what I was, I was doing this, I was doing this, because I was with the what kids. What is most Kids important. had their homework, you know, <laughs> and then there was a flat tire, there was this, there was that, you know, so it's not my fault now. But you have to find out what is most important and schedule your priorities. Okay. Schedule them, identify time blocks, assign time okay. for each priority and ensure that you focus on that time. Because okay. a lot of times we... We identify things that are important, but we don't also schedule it. Because when you schedule it, you, 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 that self-discipline to finish up within the specified time has to be there. Okay. So that's another important um, strategy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then so we've, con we've co covered four or five we've now? We've covered four. Four. Okay. So what's number five? Number five, it's very important that you have accountability partners or goal bodies. Okay. So that thing you want to achieve and you know that it's going to be a struggle, find people like minds that will keep you accountable, remind you all the time, okay, we have a timeline to finish this, what is happening. So okay. it's very important to have goal bodies or accountability partners. It's Someone that will keep bugging you, of keep course. reminding you, of course, annoying you with reminders. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> very critical. And then the fifth one is actually self-discipline. Okay. It's a very critical personal leadership tool. Self-discipline. Self-discipline. Mm. Self-discipline. So how do you discipline yourself now? So self-discipline says do it now, not later. Okay. So the, that whole mindset of I'll get to it later mm -hmm. is what I need to guard against. But what if later is actually not a bad time to do it? Maybe doing it earlier would have been, you know, wouldn't have been as productive or you wouldn't have had as much time or focus on that project. Maybe later would definitely be, be better. So that takes us back to the second or the third mm -hmm. um, strategy that I said, identify your priorities okay. and then schedule them. Mm. So if you have identified it as a priority and mm. have assigned the right time for it, mm. then you need to go back to the drawing board to find out why you were not able to do it at a particular time and it's also very possible that that particular time wasn't the right time. So okay. you can, of course, review your goals. Okay. Review your goals and give yourself that room so you don't burn out. Okay, so let me take you a little bit away from the steps for a second and say with the people you've worked with and helped, um, what do people procrastinate about the most? Is it work things or family things? I, I find out that... Uh, People procrastinate a lot on personal things. 
Personal. Personal things. Oh, okay. A lot of people are so focused on work. Mm. Oh, I have this timeline. My boss is on my neck. I have yeah. to do this. And mm. they tend to move to the, every other thing around their personal life to the back burner. Okay. So um, it might be that they put both work and family ahead of themselves. So, okay, I, I know that I've been procrastinating about going back to the gym. You know, okay. self care, self care, right? And when you burn out, you mm -hmm. won't have the energy to do all those things. So yeah. they procrastinate a lot on personal things, self care, yeah. maybe personal development, yeah. and all yeah. of that. Okay, that's personal, like education. Getting mm -hmm. maybe you want to do a master's or you want to take another course. You keep saying no worries later, later. Okay, I get it. Uh, so are we still on track with the steps? I think we're at step number seven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Oh, we've done seven. That's oh, we've done amazing. seven. <laughs> we're on step number seven. That's amazing. So uh, for someone out there right now, we've covered six different steps. Hopefully they've heard this, uh, but we have quite a few more that I know you've put in your book. Mm -hmm. uh, please just follow us on social media. Use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. If you have any questions on how she can help you on this journey to overcoming procrastination. Thank you so much for coming to join us once again. Thank you. Too. It's been an amazing month. And we have uh, hopes that you'll be back with us soon enough. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, some things to think about, especially on a Monday like today. As you go think about it, we'll take a break. Well, welcome back. Now, tell you what we're going to be doing. We are going to be checking how far we have gone for our breakfast this morning. Now, this is the thing. Something very special just happened. Because I've been making pancakes for how many years? Decades. Decades. And you just did something that is so, 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 so surprising to me. First off, in here we have our batter, yeah? Yes. We now, we also have very interesting uh, 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 items in it. I did not know that you had to have baking powder inside of your pancakes. mix. Pancakes, yes. All this while, apparently I've been making crepes, crepes yes, yes. not pancakes. Mm -hmm. And I could swear by my pancakes <laughs> that they are the best and that they are pancakes. But apparently... Yeah, if, if, you, if you check the internet and... Um, you know, Google about pancakes, you'll see the difference. Um, crepes are some way kind of mm -hmm. flat and rubbery. Yeah. But pancakes are fluffy and it just feels like mini cakes. So I took on that challenge and I was actually just Googling about the difference between crepes, crepes and, and pancakes. pancakes. And yes, I've been making crepes all my <laughs> life. Now, she also did something very special where you had to heat our butter. Butter, yeah. And then you put it inside of the mix yeah. again. Why did you do that? Okay, so um, most times people use um, cooking oil. The reason why I use butter is so that it gives it depth of flavor. Whenever you cook with butter, it gives it good flavor. You just want to keep eating and eating. Well, so we're going to fry it reason. again, and we're going to be frying it inside of water. Now, the thing, no about, the thing about pancakes, and once you can put either oil or butter, you really don't need to, you know, baste your pan with either mm. of the two anymore. Oh. So you can just keep frying. You can keep frying. Impressive, yeah, yes, impressive. Yes, yes. Um, when are we putting in our nor cubes? Um, very soon, because I'm about to start with the eggs now. Great, I let's think. already do that then. Yeah. Where are the eggs already? Oh, yeah, yeah. So everything. I pitted the eggs already and okay. then added a pinch of salt. Great. Now, the reason why I do not put the maggi and the salt at the same time is because eggs are not as smooth as water and then, mm -hmm. you know, kind of slimy, so it mm -hmm. won't circulate. Slimy is not a good word you want to use for breakfast. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> for me, personally, don't buy me. Okay, um, so... Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so what I do instead is I fry these veggies okay. and then season it well okay. before adding the eggs. And then after a few minutes, I'll turn it around. And Let's do the go show then. Let's do yes, this. Yeah, so um, here we have the um, hot oil. Okay. I'm just going to add small um, chopped onions, onions okay. here. I could add everything, but I always want it to be crunchy oh. while eating. The onions now? Yes, the onions. All right, great. Yes, so. mm. Mm. There's that sound again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not very, I'm not a big fan of that sound. Oh, really? It scares me. Oh, wow. Yeah, I hear that sound here. I'm off the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so right. um, I'm just going to let this fry a bit. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Put some water in there. No. Oh, no, no water. Okay. No, of course not. So I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. Okay. And, um, yeah, because this is almost gold. It's getting brown. Yeah, so you can get the... So sweetness. we need our oil really hot then. Well, it depends. It's preference, really. Yeah. For me, it's preference, honestly. So, okay. yeah. So I'm going to let this cook for about one minute before I add these and then mm -hmm. the eggs and other things. Just a minute then. Yes, yeah, just a minute. That looks like an awful lot of tomatoes and pepper. <laughs> it, it, how many eggs are going to go in there? Six. Six eggs. Okay, so that's yeah. enough then. That's yeah. enough. 
Right. But we're doing two kinds, remember now. We're doing two different kinds. We're doing yeah. uh, the, the pancakes with the nutmeg and pancakes with without nutmeg. nutmeg. And without nutmeg. So I'm going to fry the ones without the nutmeg, nutmeg excuse me, first. Okay. And then once I'm done with that batch, okay. then I can add the nutmeg into the. Sh should I turn this yes, on? Yes, please. Yes, All right. Please. There you go. On already. Add some of our melted butter still going <laughs> back in there. But well, we're using oil yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm you can uh, use butter, but. I thought it was oil. Okay, all yeah. right, great, 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 yeah. no problem. No. Then, uh, once we put this, onions yes, yeah. going in. Then I'm going to add the curry and thyme. Mm -hmm. It gives it a different taste. Okay. I mean, no one is used to putting curry and thyme in their eggs. No, that's the first time. Exactly. I mean, this is the first so time it, I'm actually It comes out that. really, really great. About the color. Yeah. How long can we have it being uh, heated up before we start to lose color? And we don't want to lose the color on this one, do we? Actually, we're not going to lose color. Okay. That's why we have the um, curry and thyme in it. Ah, all right. Curry itself has the yellow undertone kind of color, so okay. yeah, it would, right, great, it would great, definitely great. retain its color. Yeah, so um, it's time to add um, our, our no cubes. <laughs> no more seasoning. <laughs> Righty. So I'm going to put this. Let it not be said that I'm not helping, so I'm just going to keep mixing this up. It's not thickening like mine would do at home, actually. Preference. Now, so, this is the difference. Just watch it now. I added baking powder. I'm sorry. Yeah, baking powder. Mm -hmm. And um, by the time I put it in a pan, it would puff up. And, oh. Yes. Oh, so that's what it does. Makes yes. it a bit, um, gives a bit more heft. It's well, yeah. So, Alrighty. Yeah. So now I've added the Maggi mm -hmm. and then salt. Some salt in there. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we spent up to three minutes doing this, like, really fast. I could have sworn I used to make some good pancakes. <laughs> Man, <laughs> 10 years of pancake making, all gone. Oh, okay, <laughs> Starting so. all over again. Uh, all right, so that's our hot pan with the hot butter in there. Bit. You want to reduce the fire? Yes, all right, we're going to do that here. Okay, so if you're watching, we're getting our pancakes all ready. In just about a bit, we would have finished with the eggs and then the pancakes, mm -hmm. and then the next hour we're going to be serving. So I guess you guys are going to also perhaps maybe take part, uh, take part virtually. But let's do a break. We've got more coming on. Do stay tuned. Let's oh let, yeah, let's let's see real quick before oh. we go on a break, what it's going to be like real quick. The yeah, pancakes so going cooked. on. There so I you like go. making them in bits like this. Fantastic. Yeah, hey, so when we get back, back that that's going to be all done. <laughs> and you guys are going to try it virtually again. Do stay tuned. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Oh, yes. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. You know, mm. now that is one of the uh, more famous quotes from uh, Dalai Lama, if mm. you know who that is. Mm. So do not let those mental monsters of fear and worry pull you back today because courage isn't the absence of fear. It's the conquest of it. Yes, I like mm. the way you say that. That is absolutely true. So mm. take control of today and the entire week. Good morning yeah. once again, and welcome to the second hour here for the most exciting breakfast family show. Yeah. It is Wake Up Nigeria. It's impossible, isn't it? You know, it's, it's, it's just not an option for you to be away from us right now. We hope to achieve that limitless possibility with you this morning as you get set for your week. Yeah, so if you think the door is locked, Mm -hmm. knock mm -hmm. on that door as hard as you can and just watch it open that's me telling you this this morning all righty now so hey it's been a fantastic one hour gone by already if you, you missed it pancakes yes we're making mm -hmm. pancakes for the first time in my life i'm making pancakes i've been making crepes i had to search that on google just to be sure yes Chef Eniola was right, I had been making crepes. Yeah. But uh, Mike is in the kitchen now. Let's hope he learned something like I've just learned. Mike, I don't know, what have you been making the past many years? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Could, you show us? Could you show us? <laughs> show us what you're doing, please. You are doing nothing. She's He's hard stirring work. something. Oh. <laughs> A lot of hard work. <laughs> Mike, thank you very much. It's not yeah. easy. See, for those of us that are experts at this thing, wow. it's, it's not easy. It's not easy, I mean. It's not easy. <laughs> Don't worry, it's I'm easy. back to take my kitchen back. Take what? <laughs> Let's see how the pancake is tasting first, by the way. The pancakes are ready. Uh, Chef Vanilla, make sure he doesn't have any have of my pancakes. It? Please don't taste that. Please look at it, look stop at it. him. <laughs> Security. Ah. Security. Exactly. Security. <laughs> we worked hard at this.
<laughs> my name is Titulaya Oinso. Of course, my name is Mazino Appeal. Remember that you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all our social media platforms and be a part of the best breakfast show on Nigerian television. Remember, you can also watch us live from absolutely anywhere across the world. Just get the mobile app, download it from Google Play or iOS and uh, watch us live. And we also implore you to follow us across all the social media platforms that are left, Instagram and mm. Facebook. <laughs> I like that. We're at TVC Connect, okay? Now, for what we have lined up for the rest of the five minutes here on the show. Then we have Mimi Ina, AKA Medlin Boss. Now she's a fashion stylist, entrepreneur, CEO of Medlin Couture and a fashion consultant. Now she's passionately driven and goal actualizing oriented. Medlin is a fashion conglomerate of everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And we're going to be finding out more about her and her business later on today. Yes, indeed. Yeah. We said we were going to give a shout out to uh, Burner. Burner Boy. It's BT Awards yes. I'm talking about. No. Oh, oh, come on. Congratulations <laughs> to Burner Boy on <laughs> taking home uh, Best International Act. He is on a roll. I mean, yeah. you can't stop him now, can you? Mm -hmm. uh, regardless what your preference toward him is yeah. or aren't, uh, yeah. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very good musician. I mean, mm. I, 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 I personally am not inclined to his antics, but yeah. I still, mm. yeah. when you, you see, when you are good, when you're excellent, it doesn't really, your, your, your work will be appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. And that's sure. what happens in his case. Yeah. Before the, I mean, uh, what's the, Twice as Tall was mm. twice above every other album mm -hmm. yeah. that year, last year. So, you know. Mm. Taking man, on that reference, yeah, when you say whatever you are, your job mm. will show it. Yeah. I've worked with the, I work with a couple of people uh, of whom I would say have the worst characters when it comes to interpersonal relationships. Yeah. Okay. But I can never say about these people, very few of them, yeah. that their professional output, I, I, it exactly. cannot be contested. Yeah. One, and even one, if I go anywhere and they say, who do you think can do this? I would actually say, you know, this person can do it. One even big if person I don't like this. Yeah. Yeah. One big person like this is Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm. Mm -hmm. After the match yesterday where Portugal lost, he threw down the captain's armband. Wow. And this is not the first time he's doing that. That's unruly, but it's okay. It's not the first time he's doing that, but his desire to win is so much, so mm -hmm. high, yeah. that his petulance, you know, that petulance mm -hmm. can show so much. He will throw down whatever, he will throw tantrums if he doesn't it's score. He wants to be him, the I one. Guess. It has to be about him. I guess we can, hey. we can wrap it up by saying your gift will speak for you. Mm -hmm. mm. Just make sure you hey. figure out ah. what your gift is. Why are we paying the tides to? <laughs> wow. Let's do a bit Great, of weather. Great, guys. <laughs> when we're done with the weather, we do some news. Sister. Do stay tuned. <laughs> Once again, welcome. Uh, let's do the news for the second hour here for Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Mazino Appeal. Now, President Mohamed Buhari has described threats by the Niger Delta Avengers to attack oil installations in the South South region as unnecessary. Now, the militant group, in a statement on Saturday, had announced the launch of Operation Humble, a new mission to resume attacks in the oil-rich region, saying their needs and interests are being undermined by the Nigerian state. But in a statement released yesterday, President Buhari said issues such as the call for restructuring, reduction and prevention of the oil spills and the inauguration of a board for the Niger Delta Development Commission have all been addressed. According to the president, uh, this is what he said, a quote here, the hydrocarbon pollution remediation project has started work with remediation efforts in Ogoni land and I have directed the Minister of Environment to ensure that the projects are implemented with high percentage of local content and inclusion of the surrounding communities, end of quote. Now, President Buhari added that all issues raised by the group had already been addressed during a meeting with the leadership of the Niger Delta and Ijo National Congress at the Presidential Villa on Thursday. And Vice President Yemi Osibajo says the federal government is set to tax profits made in Nigeria by global technology and digital firms not based in the country, but with a significant economic presence. The spokesman, Alalu Akande, in a statement Released yesterday, quoted the VP as saying this during an interaction with a delegation of the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria. The vice president said although the social media companies and technology firms are not established in Nigeria, they possess significant economic presence in the country and should contribute in shoring up the country's revenue. According to Professor Osibajo, we have had severe economic downturns with the course of uh, of which, um, of course, implies that we may not be able to collect taxes with the aggressiveness that would ordinarily be expected. I think the most important thing is that we must widen our tax net so more people who are eligible to pay taxes are paying." End of quote. 
And now the chief of army staff, Major General Farooq Yahya, has charged troops of Operation Hadin Kai to destroy all Boko Haram and Islamic State West Province terrorists uh, enclaves in the various locations. Now the army chief made this statement while addressing troops of uh, Sector 2 in Damaturu, the Yobe, Yobe State capital. The army chief is optimistic that with the continuous support and synergy of other security operators, traditional rulers and relevant stakeholders, the Boko Haram insurgency would be a thing of the past. Just part of my operations visit as Chief of Army Staff to interact with my troops and to address them on the challenges at hand and the way forward for us achieving even uh, more success and results. We won't conclude this operation in the Northeast so that we can do other things. And that is the drive now. We'll, inshallah, conclude it and now and go and do other things. So also we'll conclude all other challenges that are facing us. We are geared toward uh, addressing all of them. Outside Nigeria and some bad news, more buddies have been pulled out of the rubble of the building collapse in Florida, bringing the death toll to nine. Now, this is as the search and rescue teams continue to comb the debris of the collapsed 12-story building. Mayor of Miami, um, Danielle Levine, says four of the recovered bodies have been identified, but more than 150 people remain unaccounted for. Part of the building collapsed early Thursday morning while many residents slept. The cause of the collapse remains unclear, but an engineering report from 2018 made public on Saturday highlighted a major error in the original uh, design of the building, which prevented water draining away from the debris, or rather from the base. Thank you for staying with us. It's SME Monday. We have Mimi Yina now. She is a fashion stylist, entrepreneur, CEO, meddling couture, and a fashion consultant. She's passionately driven and goal actualizing oriented. Now, meddling is a fashion conglomerate of everything fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And of course, uh, she's been in business for about 10 years plus. Yes. You have to be passionate to be in business in Nigeria for that long. Absolutely. You're Absolutely. welcome. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank now, you. what, what's, what was your, or what is your reason to tell? Why did you start meddling uh, couture? Why? What, what was the reason for it? So it came about from passion. It was my passion. All through um, when I was in the university, I'd always had passion for fashion. You know, so mm, I like that passion for fashion. Yeah, wow, passion for fashion. <laughs> you would good. never catch me not put together. Mm. So, um, in the course of studying sociology, I decided to follow that that course. Okay. So by the time I was done, I just said to myself, you know what, you're already doing this, so you might as well put it into into action. And okay. then, um, um, you know what they say, when you pursue your, your passion, hmm. it's way better than even what you think you studied. And hmm. you see that you do very well in that. In that. So I just followed, followed Just suit. followed it. You know, talking about passion, that, that's what almost every uh, business owner would say. What are your thoughts on passion when it comes to business? You know, some people have some passions that are not maybe financially viable at the moment, but they still go through. What is your take on passion? Do you have to be passionate to do business? It's how, how important is passion in um, business? It's very important. It's actually the key word. It is? Yes, it is. Because the thing is, if you have passion for something, you never get tired of doing that thing. Mm. And then you, first of all, put it as a passion first before you monetize it. But what if that passion isn't something that can generate funds? Most of the time, I would say most of the time, that passion that you have, mm. you can make it generate funds. Okay. You okay. actually can make it generate okay. funds. Even if it's not the generating fund one, mm. you can make it okay. generate. You because find before you have something as a fashion, for instance, if you like to do makeup, mm. definitely you, you'd automatically know that the makeup in the industry now is key. It's a sellout. They, they, we can't have enough makeup artists. Very so true. So even... even um, when you're a graduate, you still need what well, that thing that you're passionate about, about. to 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 excel in. Mm. I, I I know someone whose passion is bird watching, but they've made money from it. You just put up pictures and then put it online, and hey, and come on, you can become an, an influencer or something. Of course. Of okay, course. so now uh, you've done you've done this for ten years. Let's talk about your progress. How um, well, this was cool. So there was a time you probably not do it for so much money and all that. But at what point did it become important for you to make money from this? At what point did you know that, look, uh, if, I do, if I'm not making money from this, how far can I go? Can I go? 
Okay, so apparently, it's um, the Medlin brand has come a very long way. Mm. It's been a process, actually. Um, I'm not one of those ones that made it so quick. So I would say like three years ago, mm. because before now, what I do is I, I had boutiques. I used to sell clothes. So I've always sold clothes, and I am still selling clothes. But I realized that when I have people come in, I just combine the outfits for them. I've been doing that. I used to go to Asaba, to the movie industry. Then nobody knew. But I would go to Funke, she's shooting in Asaba. I'll go to sleep in a hotel, take like 10 of, or oh, 10 boxes, all through the night after her set, we're combining clothes. I'm combining the outfit of how she's going to style it. Same for Inedo. So I was always in Asaba, but nobody knew it. I was just mm. doing it because I was selling clothes and I had passion for, you know what, this color goes for this color. For this color and all you know, of that. So it's something I've done, and I realized that it made me sell more, even in my sales. Because when you come to buy one thing and you find out that I've combined different things for you, for you, you end up buying you more. End up, okay. You know, so two, two years ago, two to three years, we're heading to three years now. I just said, okay, I might as well venture into this styling and styling. Thing. Because okay. I actually do it, but I do it for fun. I do it without thinking of without money. Thinking about and then money. I decided to monetize it. And I was like, oh my goodness, I have been giving away my self knowledge mm. for free. For free. But that's why I said it's always good to have your passion first. First. Because and of the passion, most people, I remember Funka Akindele more than 10 years ago told me that she followed me from Instagram because of how I dressed. Mm. So it has to be something you love to do. So you have to be the first person to market your business. It has to show on you. It has to show always. Even up till date, I'm always the first person to market my to business. To market your I, business. I Wonderful. Now, we know that challenges are, are never ending. But let's talk about a few. Maybe what are the most notable challenges you had to face as a business owner, specifically in Nigeria, in such climbs? Uh, there are times where devs, I'm sure everybody suffers from that. Mm. When, you know, the Nigerian market is somehow... But not now, though, but when you start first, it makes you think that, you know, if you don't sell anything on credit, you might not be able to sell. Very true, and especially when you're just starting. starting. And then you're worried that, okay, you might as well sell them instead of looking at your goods. So fast forward, I'm like, okay, that was such a wrong theory. Because what happens is you pack all your goods and you give to somebody, thinking you have sold market and it's on credit. Mm. And then the money never comes. Mm. And I realize now that I can still see my goods and somebody can walk in and buy those goods. Okay. So why give it out on credit in the notes that, you know what, it's credit. And then you say to yourself, when you travel, I travel out all the time, I buy these things. I don't go asking for credits in the store. I don't go saying, oh, let me, let me swipe and maybe I'll pay some later. I'll pay some they, later. They, they just call the police to say, okay, mm. she needs check, mm. you know. So, or the um, psychiatric home. <laughs> that exactly. So uh, um, credits, um, owing or I don't know how, debt yeah, is, is a very strong... You see, and it can also actually bring down the business as well. You know, but people will tell you that if you're starting and they don't know you, that that's a good way to start. Yeah. But would you, would you, would you, for an upcoming uh, designer or any other business, how would you, how would you, how would you tell them to go through that phase when nobody knows you and someone says, hey, okay, let me take it, I'll pay you at the end of the month. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a staff or I'm a worker. Mm. I, get, I get paid at the end, at the end of the month. Let me just take it now. What do you do in those kind of situations? First of all, I'm not going to say don't because you're just starting. Okay. But the truth is, if you start, check credibility first before you give out. Credibility. Yes, That's check the word. first. Make sure that the person, like you've just said, they work at the end of the month. You are sure of even though it's not 100% sure. Because the thing is that you think you trust somebody. At the end of the month, that same person has other X, Y, Z people that they need to pay. Okay. And then it becomes story. And especially for clothing, by the time somebody wears your clothes, then you can't do anything. You can't do anything can't about do anything. it. So it's a half and half chance. You always have to pass through that. But always check credibility to say, OK, this person kind of have integrity. And the person might just say, OK, I'm starting pay. Okay, for now, offline or online, where do you do the where, where, where does business come in the most? Online, my online. goodness, God, yes. Online. online. But how many? How do you still? Do you still uh, maintain offline stores? Of course, I do. Okay, how many offline stores do you have now? Okay, so in Port Harcourt, before I, I left, because I'm almost here more now. More now, okay. In Port Harcourt, we had like three stores. Okay. Now we we just moved into Lagos. This okay. is like our second year, like I said. Okay. So we have one now. W one store in Lagos. Yeah, okay. That, and that's because most of our Services are online. Are online. Online. So, offline, how many staff do you employ? Um, we have like 15 hmm. here in That's Lagos, and then we have some in Port Harcourt, 
Maybe more actually. Oh, okay. More, yes. All right, but yes. now, but now, because of um, the online, the, the move to online, you do quite a lot of your business online. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about scaling up in business. So. Um, somebody who starts a business and I started seeing some level of profit, you know, there's that urge to let me f let me have let me step up my game, let me move to this particular kind of life lifestyle. How would you, um, a, a new business owner who's starting, how would you advise them to to work on their business in such a way? What can you what do you keep apart to grow the business? What do you take? How much should you take? How you know how do you draw that balance between growing the business and you know enjoying the returns from that business? Okay, so you have to be very, very focused and determined mm. on what you should do. Never, ever touch your capital. Mm. Then um, I would always tell people, even as a business owner, just so you regulate your spendings, because a lot of entrepreneurs are impulse spenders and mm. buyers. You know, I've been there before, so I can I can tell you for free that. So you just go. Oh my goodness! You just, just see one. Is like, ah, just, the money is there now. I crazy. I have a PA that always guides me. You know. Hmm. But the thing is, you first things first. Put yourself on salary and say to yourself, I'm not going to touch X, Y, Z. Put if, yourself on, on salary. salary. I've and heard know that, that this is your important. money. Every other money is not your money. It's not your money. So when you're doing, you have your your profit. Um, what you've put into the your capital, what hmm. you put into the business. Then, as it's coming, you take out your profit, put yourself on salary, guide yourself, make sure you're not mingling into your profits or your capital. Hmm. Because once you do that, if you don't have separate, if you don't separate these things, you just realize that you're working around the clock and you are not accountable for anything like wholesome to say, wholesome. okay, this is what and what. So I would always say, be disciplined about your spending, hmm. know what and what to do, work around what you have brought out for your this thing. Some, in some cases where you say, oh, okay, I think I've made some extra profit. Yes, fine, you can take that. But, you know, for business, the more you put in, the more profit you make. So it's always good to go back, put it back in and make profit. Mm. And, and make sure you're grown to the point where you know what, you can be a little bit Mm. A little bit. All right. Okay. Sure, right. Wonderful. Um, you 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 made mention of something about how you're working with Funke Akindele and Iniedo. Did you just stand up and just go to their sets and all of that? Did you know them before? You just to just let me start up. Let me travel to Asaba sure. and give them clothes. No, not at all. So Funke, um, like I said, she said from my fashion, she followed me from how I used to put things together, how I okay. used to dress, and my fashion sense. So she sent me a DM. Oh. Yeah, she sent me a DM. And she saw it on um, on social media. Yeah, social media. No no connections, nobody saying anything. Mm. She just sent it. You know that thing, that you just, your time just mentioned, that yes. connection, that yes. thing in Nigeria, in business in Nigeria. Yes. It is said to be something that, uh, a, a link that is almost uh, very, almost is something that you can't do without. Mm -hmm. That connection, you have to be highly connected. You have to be connected. connected, you have to be linked to someone. You have so to you're saying you don't someone. have to be? You don't have to, mm. actually. Okay. Some cases it works, mm. but you don't, so that you don't tell yourself that, oh, because most people say, oh, I don't know this person, I might not be able to function. No, it doesn't really have to be that. Your work has to speak for you as well. Okay. So for Funke, she reached out to me, and we started. And your work spoke Same, for you. My work always speaks for me. Wonderful, wonderful, Mimi. I, if I had uh, one hour more, would still be talking. You are, you are actually giving some nuggets there. Ah. Quite very good. Okay, so uh, Mazino has a... Uh, has something for you, but while you're going there, I want you to talk about competition. Maybe you should uh, talk to him how you deal with competition, right? But then, hey, come on, let's okay. head to the kitchen. You talk about how you did you, how were you, how are you able to deal with competition? Almost, almost everybody's online selling yes, clothes. How do you deal with competition? Hello. First off, I want to say you look beautiful, Thank but of you. course, do you have a seat? Let me help you around here. Oh, I and wasn't told I had breakfast. Oh, well, hey, hey we like to surprise, surprise our guests. Are you good? Are you yes, good? I'm fine. Oh, guys, okay. <laughs> Mike gets jealous when I, I take ask for competition. Guests. Just <laughs> let me answer the question. <laughs> so listen, uh, this is Chef Eniola. She's one of our good great morning. chefs in this place. Good morning. Uh, pancakes, not crepes. Okay. Pancakes and uh, scrambled eggs. Scrambled with eggs. Pepper and Very pages. specially made, by the way. She had to put some heated butter in there, some nutmeg yeah. in there, and then she's got baking soda in it. Wow. Baking powder. Too. Oh my God. Not like I, I, I know it to be done because I've been doing it wrong my entire life. So it's beautiful, it's fantastic. Competition, mm -hmm. by the way, how do you um, manage with competition? Competition. Mm -hmm. That is like the major thing in the industry that we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I would always say, because you're in the same industry with somebody, does not make the person your automatic competitor. Okay. So let your work speak for you, actually. Mm -hmm. You have. The market is big enough for all. So by the time you waste your time competing with others, mm. instead of focusing 
on creating that work that would stand you out, would mm. distinguish you out, then you've, you've lost the purpose. Nice, nice. So just try not to be in any competition with anybody. This, it doesn't, this it, it's goes worthless. To, mm -hmm. goes with every, anything you're doing, everything you're doing. Just do you. Yeah, just, just do, do you. you exactly. Just do you. So uh, you want to tell, tell her exactly what she's going to be having, <laughs> what, uh, although I've kind of like done that already, but let me face that the right way. Right, so right. here I made pancakes with scrambled eggs. But the pancakes are two ways. There's okay. one with nutmeg, and then there's one without nutmeg. Okay. Just have something, you know. Try. And then I have maple syrup here just oh, to please please of course. My... I love syrup. <laughs> oh nice sir. Uh, and how did you guys know my favorite? No. Are you serious? <laughs> Is this enough for you one more? Pancake. More I was thinking. Right. Telepathic. As much as you want. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Careful, Great. sorry. Yeah. It's all yours. It's all yours. <laughs> Feel free. Mm -mm. And tell us what you yeah. think. You want to rate it Both. if you want to rate it. Okay. Very easy to make, by the way. It only took uh, a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice texture. Well, nice. Moist. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Try the mm. eggs. Wow. Or oh, both. <laughs> oh, both. Okay, yeah, try together. Yeah, it'll be okay. nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Go on now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh my goodness, very nice. You don't need to worry about competition. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> thank you very much, That's everyone. Recipe. Yes, very you important. should. Oh, thank it's you. Fantastic <laughs> today, Chef Eniola has made this very fantastic uh, dish, oh, and yeah. you have been a great final guest for us. We thank love you. that you made it here. Thank, thank you very you. much, Cici and Mike. By the way, we want to say your goodbyes. Yeah, we're coming for those pancakes, Mizuno. Uh, not, no. not, not a chance. <laughs> we're them. coming. Not Mimi, a chance, guys. Mimi, I Forget thought it. you enjoyed our discussion, but now the pancakes are making you. <laughs> You've forgotten about business. <laughs> what you are thinking about nice pancake and egg? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you guys what, tomorrow is going to be another day. It's going to be grand. Aww. We'll have another dish, another chef. Same as Zeno, Mike, and of course, Titi. Thank Thanks you. Perhaps Mary as well. You guys join us then. Until then, it's goodbye. Have a great Monday. Thank you. All right. Oh, thank you.